hello everyone welcome to my channel again my name is Mola Ajibola. i'm a registered nurse to my returning subscribers i welcome you to my channel and if you have viewed me for the first time today i also welcome you to my channel again today i'm going to talk about breastfeeding vessels formula feeding welcome back to my channel again Today I'm going to talk about breastfeeding vessels formula feeding. To start on these notes, WHO and UNICEF established baby friendly hospital initiative worldwide in order to promote and encourage the healthcare workers to support newly delivered mother nursing mother to breast feed their babies as an health care provider i strive to promote breast feeding this video is all about to provide information about the two and for mothers to make informed decision so I'm going to start with breastfeeding. Breast milk has a lot of benefits. No substitute for breast milk. Breast milk has a lot of benefits, ranges from promoting bonding between mothers and their newborn. It promotes brain development in children. It reduces the risk of respiratory tract infection in infants. It reduces the risk of constipation in infants. It reduces type 1 insulin dependency in infants compared to a formula feeding babies. It contains nutrients in their right proportion, benefits to the mothers as well. The risk of breast cancer reduced in breast feeding mothers compared to a non-breastfeeding mother. The risk of ovarian cancer reduce in breastfeeding mothers compared to in non breastfeeding mothers okay. so there are some categories of women who may not be able to breastfeed their baby such as women undergoing cancer treatment cancer drugs can be harmful to the babies women that have, have severe breast injury maybe true bones injury that could have altered the structure of their breast that you know that the dots are not patent for the milk to come out from it women newly diagnosed of hiv that are not on arvs they have not initiated arvs drug they may decide with the healthcare provider and the experts in that feed whether they should put their baby to breast or fill their baby with formula. Or if a baby born to a HIV positive mother's mother is receiving care in special babies unit and having other drugs that can be contraindicated to HIV drugs, then the woman can also decide with her healthcare provider and the expert if she will be able to feed her baby with breast milk. Or and if this decision has been made, there is a lot of things for you to do. You have to make research to the appropriate type of milk that your baby has to be fed with. Because it depends on the baby's age. For a baby that is preterm, the components and composition of the milk that she can 
the baby can take different from a baby that is a term baby or baby more than six months of age so you have to consider those things and make research on them even though there there is regulation body that have a guidelines on what is going a milk formulas are going to contain depends on the age they are targeting there is rule and regulation to guide what composition is supposed to be in their formula another thing is to consider the equipment that you want to use in feeding your baby in order to prevent transmitting an infection to babies through formula feeding you have to consider the water you are going to use is there portable water drinkable water for you to make this milk and it also encourage and recommended that you use a boiled water with boiled water it will be able to kill any germs in this water and make sure you dilute the milk within 30 minutes before feeding your baby and also have to check the temperature of this formula before giving it to your baby you know if it's breast milk it's in the appropriate temperature but when you are feeding with formulas and you are mixing it with boiled water warm water you have to check the level of the temperature before giving it to your baby you can use the back of your hand you can turn the boat to upside down for it to drip in on your on the back of your hand to actually see if you, have, if you can feel the baby with the level of the temperature another thing is that you have to consider the equipment you are going to use to sterilize it appropriately to prevent to make it free of any bacteria or any germs also consider if you are going to feed your baby with bottle or spoon and cup and when you are feeding baby with formula you ensure that you are not the one controlling the baby feet is the baby that is controlling what the baby is taking so that you cannot overload the baby overload the baby so that the baby will not aspirate if the baby is using cup and spoon ensure that it's the baby that is sucking from the spoon it's not you that you are pouring the milk to the baby's throats and also you have to check for the teeth of the bottle you want to use it's recommended that the drop of the milk from a box from the teeth should be one drip that means one drop per second you are the teeth will not be so wide that the milk will be gushing into the baby's throats to avoid aspiration another thing is that even when your baby is more than six months of age you don't leave the baby unsupervised with bottle feeding these all these are very essential so these are things you have to consider when you have made the decision with your health care provider to fill your babies with formula. So, I've come to the end of this video. Thank you for staying with me to the end. Until next time, I will be doing another video. Take complete charge of your health. Bye.